you know, she walked in and we're all like, Mary just needs to grow up. Mary needs to grow up? Pretty ridiculous. Thanks a lot, producers. It's just uncomfortable to watch. It's like awkward, like, I'm so uncomfortable. Bad move. That was a bad move. I'm Jay's a very nice guy, but bad move, bro. Hola! I'm Vanessa Villela and I'm doing a Selling Sunset Season 4 watch along with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. So in this scene, Davina, Maya, and Christine are discussing Mary's friendship as well as if she's coming to the dog party. Christine is trying to say that she got shade in the office when she came in from all the girls and so she's talking smack about each one. So let's see what she said. I mean, the ice was coming from the back of the office, not the front, oh, so. No. I mean, the thing about Chriselle, she's like super loose. She never lets anything go. Like Chriselle doesn't let anything go? Hmm. Christine's saying that Chriselle never lets anything go, but she's the one that keeps talking about her ex-boyfriend of years and years and years and not letting things go, so. Are you, you coming know. to Mary's dog's birthday party? Did you get invited? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What happened between the two of you guys? were so close together. And it felt like Chriselle happened. Chriselle? I thought it was me. I thought she told everyone she wasn't friends with her because of me. It was different times when her and I were friends, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, I agree. People's lives change. And, you know, we all have husbands, babies more work, busy, you know, things going on. Mary and I have grown apart, and Mary just needs to grow up and accept that. Mary needs to grow up? Woo! Mary's grown. Okay, next clip, here we go. All right, we're gonna pause right there. Let's talk about this music. Um, how come I always get Looney Tunes? Pretty ridiculous, thanks a lot, producers. Love me a good pink dress. Hi guys. We originally planned to go to dinner at a really fancy restaurant. And an hour before our call time, the production called us and said they had to change locations to a coffee shop. Hence, um, you know, I'm in hair and makeup. I mean, I'm gonna show up in my party dress. Hey, oh, hi, hey. how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I say hi? So oh, awkward, hi. so rude and awkward. It's a little awkward because we haven't seen each other like since for like a year. Actually, that's not true. We had seen each other at Jason's birthday a month before filming, but thanks for not remembering. But her outfit was, uh, I don't know, a little over the top for a coffee shop. I'm feeling really underdressed right now. Well, that's because you are. You know, I've actually come a long way with Davina, and so when I watch this, um, you know, I'm coming from a different place than I was when we filmed this. You know, we had some things to sort out, and we definitely have, and so now when I watch this, I see somebody that's coming in and she's trying. When you were here before, there was a lot of negativity that came from me, where it was always kind of almost a pot stir. Well, what a welcome. <laughs> I love how everyone puts everything on me and takes zero responsibility. I hear you, but I also, like, I need you guys to This is an option. Okay, this but is, this is, can I express how I feel? Yes, you can. They can't just put everything Amen. on me. It's a two-way street. Sure is. This scene is about um, this, this, the yacht party. The setup crucial <laughs> date. Ooh. Here we go. Chriselle is such an amazing girl. I've seen her go through ups and downs, and at this time, she was, you know, from what I knew, single. Chriselle, hi, hi, nice to meet you. It seemed like it had good intentions. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, or like good potential. So uncomfortable. You have beautiful eyes. <laughs> you have beautiful eyes. That's the tequila. <laughs> That's the tequila tequila. <laughs> she's not That's best. why she's my girl. <laughs> it went south real quick when um, he tried to. No, no, he didn't try. When he grabbed the. I don't know if he was having a fully different experience this day and thought it was like a first day, but Chriselle was like not having it. So this like scene made me cringe. It started off okay. Bad move. That was a bad move. I'm Jay's a very nice guy, but bad move, bro. Oh, cringe. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, what's next? So this is the scene where Christine tells Maya and Davina about her fake engagement. Everything that I told her was 100% accurate. You know, my engagement. Which engagement? With your ex? Yeah. I didn't know you were engaged. I, I wasn't telling people. Because it never happened. Christine, she didn't tell anyone she was engaged. 
But then she told Mary, she told Davina, so Davina knew she was engaged. So I'm just a little bit confused. Everyone is. Did he propose to you, like, officially, or did he say, hey, I love you, let's get married? It was in his house. He got down on his knee, and it was a whole thing. He got down on his knee. It's wild. Know? She took it to the next level. Do I believe Christine was engaged? She's never lied to me before, and I trust her, but I'm a bit jarred that Christine didn't mention it. I don't know what to think. I, I really don't know what to think. Accurate. Okay, new clip. I remember this day very vividly. Um, this is Davina's first day back in the office. You know, she walked in and we're all like, oh my God, she's here. Like, you know, and because we didn't know if she f was for sure coming back or not. So I just wanted to reach out to you because I know we obviously- Why am I reaching out to her? Am I emailing <laughs> Like what? I'm really sorry for hurting your feelings genuinely. And that was not my intention. It was just a- It's just uncomfortable to watch. It's like awkward, like, an apology it was very late, so I know Chriselle was kind of like, ugh. But I was like cringing. <laughs> I don't know how's this gonna go. <laughs> Can you guys imagine the entire office being silent and like fully eavesdropping to every single word I'm saying? Your first day back at work. I think that everyone deserves a second chance. I feel that she's coming back with a beautiful energy. She's gonna bring amazing things to the team, and all we need to do is be open and welcome her back to the office. This is one of those moments where. You know, it's really uncomfortable in the moment, but if we are going to address it, we have to kind of then go there, you know, because it would have been easier to just kind of be like, okay, I appreciate that and go back to my desk. I judged you because of your own actions. Yeah, that's fine. So I and appreciate the I'm apology. And I'm Thank sorry. you. Okay. Guys, no, I mean, cleared the air, they hugged. We've all spent time together. Things are fine between them. And sometimes it just takes that apology, right? And. Davina really came back and tried and she's been getting along with all the girls. So this clip is Vanessa talking with Davina and Emma. Well, I don't know how to feel about this and it just makes me sad. There's a point where like, we're not gonna continue to entertain something that we all know isn't true. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have this information before, yeah. you know? So and it's, I, it's I'm shocking to me. But she like... you did, so, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's a thing. I mean, if you expect Davina to lie for you, you gotta at least give a girl a heads up. I mean, you didn't even tell her that, you know, she was just supposed to blindly have your back. She didn't even know her then, so. Some point, like we have to know as adults what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, we, we know this person, um, you know, he's been very upfront. That never happened. Um, it's a weird thing to lie about. Everyone knows it, so it's just kind of awkward at this point. So sad, honestly, I'm at a loss for words. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Catch season four of Selling Sunset on Netflix right now.